Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Francesca again, back with another Tom McDonald response video. This time his new song is called Sheeple. I am super pumped to respond to it as usual. Um, we know it's going to be meaningful. I know it's going to be political. And we know he's just going to hit one fact right after the other, like he always does, in about 20 seconds and blow us all away. So let's get into it and see what it's all about. Humans been controlled since the day that they were civilized. The truth has been so heavily politicized. If you don't know who's controlling you and killing all the little guys, find out who you're not allowed to criticize. Black folks who were never, ever actual slaves. Fighting with white folks who ain't actual Nazis. Controlled by rich folks who use the news to make hate. While elite folks control all the political parties. It's a big lie. Trying to make you pick sides. Trying to make you burn the cities down and kill each other. They got... We gotta pause it. I'll play it back. I know I stopped it in an awkward spot, but this is why I love Tom McDonald. He apparently has done his homework and he understands, like I do, what is really going on. And it's a bunch of smokescreen BS to make us hate each other so that we don't come together and make this actually better. And he is pointing that out in this song 100%. It has been done since the beginning of civilization. I did a video on his 12, his nine step process from brainwashed. It covers that it goes back millennia divide and conquer this again. It's all about that. And he's pointing out who, where the real divide is. Sick minds, big lies, deep on the police so that there's big crime to take away our freedom to restore order they let die. Play with people, turn men into women, make the counterculture mainstream to mix up the system, change the pronouns of gender is a spectrum, so is privilege. I know poor white folks and black celebrities with millions. They starve you with a lack of information and only give you facts through a branded corporation. Distort your worldview with an algorithm that changes based on propaganda curated for your engagement. And he's, it's, it's all true. And people be like, oh, that's crazy. That's a crazy conspiracy. And I'm just like, look around you. Do you really think what most people believe and what most people see is really reality? Like, is that really how things are? Or is that how people believe they are? Is reality more what people are perceiving? Or what is actually reality? Because I would bet you 10 to 1 that more often than not, it's just what people think it is. They don't actually have a real grasp on what is real. We can't be free. Can't have no peace till we're on the same team. But y'all are sheep. Blue to screams just part of the machine. Y'all are sheep. Oh, I love this song. This is awesome. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Okay, so he's, again, not wrong. What have I been saying this whole time? United we stand. If we do not come together, this whole ship is going down and we are all going to drown. Don't think for a second that you're going to be spared because of whatever you are. We need to come together and realize who, what teams need to be made. What do y'all believe? been writing your brain controlling your mouth you say lit fleet bet cap they trying to dumb you down they endorse whatever narrative is popular to shout and use minorities in movies for diversity clout two sides on the spectrum but ain't none of them honest took the red pill and the blue pill spit them both in the garbage being woke used to mean you understood you're a target and now it's having two good legs and never taking a step forward if you agree it's free speech disagree it's hate speech erase it if it came from anywhere except the mainstream trump supporters labeled as the racist but they can't be lincoln was republican and that's who ended slavery science been politicized it's easy to see a mask became a symbol of which side you believe but you'll never cure a sickness till you cure the greed because the problem with our natural immunity is it's free oh i uh i should play that back i did not hear that last part but this is he's on a roll i love this song this is awesome Never cure a sickness till you cure the greed Because the problem with our natural immunity is it's free Society is broken, want you locked inside a cubicle Addicted to pornography, liquor, and pharmaceuticals Tell you that you're fat and poor and you were never beautiful Then tweet how much they love you when they hear about your funeral We can't be free It's so sad. It's so sad. We really need to get it together. Because it's just... We want to be happy, 
This is not the way to go. No peace until we're on the same team. But he's right. Most people are sheep, and most people are going to take what they see at face value, not question it. And as the old saying goes, it's easier to fool someone than to convince them that they have been fooled. If they can't convince you, they confuse you. They want you dumb and dead. They divided you by race, religion, income, and sex. Made everybody right. And that's what I try to say, and people, a lot, and I'm, this isn't to diss anyone, but I see all of it as part of the same thing. If it divides us and puts us against each other, I kind of raise an eyebrow on it, and that would include religion, and that would include race, that would include anything that, instead of seeing each other as human, we start to see each other as other. We need to see each other as human so that we can work together to evolve together. The only way that's going to happen is if we see each other as similar rather than different. If the hatred got so intense, if the other side likes oxygen, you'll put a bag on your head. And the conspiracy theories labeled as misinformation is just a terrifying truth that scares the hell out the nation. The system treating you like trash and you got rifles to aim with. Just imagine how they'll treat you when your guns get confiscated. George Orwell, 1984 was his last lecture. George called him thought police, now we call him fact checkers. Government surveillance trying to catch you, they don't ask questions. Mass incarceration equals... Let's go back on that. George Orwell, 1984 was his last lecture. George called them thought police. Now we call them fact checkers. George called them fact police, and now, or sorry, fact police, and now we call them fact checkers. Is that how it was? Thought police, and now we call them fact checkers. That's a really good parallel, and that's true. Government surveillance trying to catch you, they don't ask questions. Mass incarceration equals capital for cash investors. The system isn't broke, it's working fine. Oppressive and chaotic is how it was designed. They say if we ain't doing nothing wrong, there's nothing to hide. While their agenda and intelligence completely classified. They don't teach your rights in school, you never learn them at all. Because they're easy to remove if you don't know what they are. The so only true. people you can rule are the criminal ones. So they force you into corners till you're breaking the law. We can't be free. No peace till we're on the same team, but y'all are sheep. Blue the screams just part of the machine. Y'all are sheep. What do y'all believe? Nothing's what it seems. Well, that was Tom McDonald's sheeple. Um, I'm gonna have to listen to that a few times. I like that a lot. I need, I need to be listening to this song in my car like all this time all the time uh that's an awesome song what i want to say about it um it's true a lot of it is manufactured and it's not natural and honestly if the people that were leaders cared about us they would bring us together they wouldn't divide us and that's how you can really tell a true leader is he'll bring the people together and one thing I've noticed with the children that are being brought up now is there a lot of parents are practicing something called gentle parenting, and it's actually doing a lot of damage because it's kind of, in a way, it it's goes too far, and the children don't really develop an understanding of other people's emotions, and so they end up believing that they're the center of the universe, and they will do whatever they can to get their way, and it's creating... How do I say this? I've been around so many kids that I see this behavior in, and it's there's almost a maliciousness toward each other because they're competing for attention constantly. And then they go into the social media world that we have now, where what is everything about getting likes on things? Um, the fact of the matter is, we're set up. If we don't wake up, if the sheep don't stop being asleep and start waking up to what's really going on, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. So that's, again, why I make videos like this. So if you like what I do, please subscribe and like below. Um, share this video if you feel so inclined to do so. And hopefully we can wake more people up because the fact of the matter is the only way we're going to get any stronger is if we come together. So other than that, everybody have a great day and peace out.